Well, gold and silver and platinum are exploding higher. I don't know. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update for Wednesday, July the 22nd. And wow, look at those metals go. My goodness gracious. I mean, they've come a little off their eyes, but man, this is an explosion. Silver is reminding me of what it was doing in 2011. Yes, I know it was at $49, but the action down here is wild. And of course, who knows? I mean, we reversed long and platinum early this morning. It was down. It's now about 20 bucks. So, uh, again, at the, at the end of the day, look, we, we trade mechanically. I don't care. I don't worry about it. I'm in. And then if we're wrong, we get out and we reverse. So in the meantime, they look like they want to go higher. Now, I would certainly suspect there's going to be some sort of a pullback here. Okay. I can't imagine that they're going to continue to go straight up. But again, I'm not predicting. I'm just telling. I'm just saying. All right. Meantime, markets are really diverging once again. The NASDAQ has been very, very volatile uh, and it's now down about 40, 50 points. But one of the things you understand or should understand about when markets get very volatile and very price heavy, you know, moving both ways real fast, we already know it's a lack of liquidity, but it's also usually a potential first warning sign of a major change coming. Now, again, I'm not predicting, I'm long in NASDAQ. So, again, I'm not predicting it, but that sometimes does indicate that you've got a major change in the works and, and maybe it will, maybe it won't be. Okay, again. Whatever it is, it'll be. Okay, the Dow is higher, the S and B is flat, and the NAS and the Russell is about flat. And we reversed the Russell this morning when it was down, but it doesn't matter. We reversed the Russell this morning, so we're long all the indexes, we're long all the metals, we're long the bonds and the notes, which are higher today again. Okay, and again, they're also set up for a very big move. And again, I, the, the bonds and notes I would expect to be higher. Okay, um, the natural gas is a little bit lower. Copper is another signal, okay, just like the NASDAQ. If you go back and look at the action, the wild swings that we've seen in the copper over the last couple of days is signaling something. Now, it doesn't mean it has to be down, but based on the overall trends we're going, usually it's a, it's a reversal. So we'll, we'll see. Again, we're long copper, and we'll see where it plays from here. The dollar is getting pounded again, and it's now broken that 95 level. I mean, I would say that if I give you a target, I'd say we'd be looking for 90, okay, before it's, and maybe lower. I mean, remember, we came from 88. Okay, And, of course, the euro currency is going to, to Pluto along with everything else. And, again, we'll see how these all play out when it's said and done. But, you know, the grain markets look fairly solid today. I mean, corn is up. You know, it held the 330 support. We're still short it, but it held 330. Okay. Soybeans, which we're still short, are down a little bit. But, again, they're, they're hovering around the level that looks like they break the upside. And wheat's up nicely. And, of course, we're still long wheat. So, but, again... I mean, again, I'd love to be long all the grains, but I will follow the algorithm and wait for it, okay? And, of course, the meats, a uh, little bit mixed. Feeder cattle's a little bit higher. Hogs are a little bit higher. And uh, fat cattle or live cattle's a little bit lower. Again, very, very slow action. I guess maybe they're waiting for cattle on feed, which I don't, I don't know why, but, yeah, who, who, who am I to say, okay? And, of course, crude oil uh, pushed higher to almost 42, and now it's back down on the four, low 41s. Again, this is, I don't think it can go much farther. Now, we're still long. Again, i give you full disclosure of all my positions. We're still long. We'll see what happens from here. In the meantime, I had a great webinar and a lot of fun with the family farms yesterday. I, I'll send you the recording out when I, when I get the, their recording, but it was a lot of fun and, and a great group. And we had some fun and talked a lot of different things about a lot of different markets. So it was really great. And of course, uh, our brokerage partners, again, I have many brokerage accounts at different places, but again, the ones I use the most, okay, CTG for futures and commodities, they do our letter of direction trading, including mine personally, okay, and that's because they do a great job, because they have great customer service, and because when you call on the phone, they pick it up, okay? So for me, that's what I want. That's the service I want when I'm using a broker. I don't want to be on hold. I don't want to get tied up. So that's what I like. So CTG for a lot of direction, futures and commodities, and, and you're obviously your own. They've got some great new products. And of course, Trader. I mean, again, I ask you this every day, but it doesn't make sense that anybody would want to pay all that extra money to trade when you can trade a Trader for 10 bucks a month. I, that, that, I don't comprehend that. But again, that's up to you. But CTG, I mean, excuse me, Trader has the same thing. They've got great customer service. They take care of business. 
They've got a good platform. So, uh, you know, why would you want to pay more? Like, because that's part of your liquidity. But that's, again, that's always up to you. If you'd like to have uh, the information, either one of those two brokerage firms, all you have to do is email me at bubbandbubbatrading.com. I'll send you a special link. And of course, our commodity report, unbelievable. Again, first of all, it's nailing the commodities, number one. But number two, it's a great report written by Andy Heck, number one author at Seeking Alpha, worldwide commodities trader. If you want to check it out, go to bubbatrading.com, technomental. And of course, our high school program, don't forget about that, Patreon, P A T R E O N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's Patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. We'll see you back here tomorrow with another Bubba's Daily Update.